In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. O God, who through your only begotten Son have made us a new creation, look kindly, we pray, on the handiwork of your mercy, and mm -hmm. at your Son's coming, cleanse us from every stain of the old way of life, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. First reading. Thus says the Lord. Observe what is right, do what is just. For my salvation is about to come. My justice, about to be revealed. Blessed is the man who does this. The son of man who holds to it. Who keeps the Sabbath free from profanation. And his hand from any evil doing. Let not the foreigner say. When he would join himself to the Lord. The Lord will surely exclude me from his people. The foreigners who join themselves to the Lord. Ministering to him. Loving the name of the Lord. And becoming his servants. All who keep the Sabbath free from profanation. And hold to my covenant. Them I will bring to my holy mountain. And make joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and sacrifices will be acceptable on my altar. For my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. Thus says the Lord God, who gathers the dispersed of Israel. Others will I gather to him. Besides those already gathered, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm O God, let all the nations praise you. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth. Among all nations, your salvation. O God, let all the nations praise you. May the nations be glad and exult. Because you rule the peoples in equity. The nations on the earth you guide. O God, let all the nations praise you. The earth has yielded its fruits. God, our God, has blessed us. May God bless us. And may all the ends of the earth fear him. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come, Lord, bring us your peace that we may rejoice before you with a perfect heart. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The reading from the Holy Gospel. According to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, You sent emissaries to John, and he testified to the truth. I do not accept testimony from a human being. But I say this so that you may be saved. John was a burning and shining lamp. And for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's. The works that the Father gave me to accomplish. These works that I perform testify on my behalf. That the Father has sent me. Pray for the intercession of St. Joseph, hope of the sick, patron of the dying, protector of the Holy Church, to guard us in this time of turmoil. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, we are praying. For Pope Francis, that he guide the Church with wisdom and humility, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the prayers that we hold in the silence in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we thank you for this day and all its opportunities. May we do God's will this day. Work in the vineyard of the Lord through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God, Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God, Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all the church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings, and since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, how sign and eyes. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Today we will pray the first Eucharistic prayer of reconciliation. It is in your Mass book. And a quote from Tertullian on the Eucharist. Tertullian lived for, uh, was born in the year 155. He said, The flesh feeds on the body and blood of Christ, that the soul likewise may be filled with God. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work, so that the human race may become holy just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray, upon your people's offerings, and pour out on them the power of your spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death, and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross, but before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth, to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he is about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate the death and resurrection from the dead, and looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, who are our faithful and merciful God, 
this sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those who unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis our Pope, Louis our Bishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom, until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy, then freed at last from the wound of corruption, and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with you. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace on. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should say but my word, but on the same word, I am so sorry May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth, and hold firm to the things of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.